My name is Shannon Stever. I participated in the Samsung Solve for Tomorrow contest in 2016. My team and I at Northeast High School in Oakland Park, Florida designed a flotation device that detected rip current strength and warned beachgoers if it's safe to enter the water. After participating in the Samsung Solve for Tomorrow contest, I realized that I could fuse my passion of helping others in mathematics into one career. My teachers reminded me that engineering is solving problems and it would play in my head over and over again and it resonates with me to this day. Florida International University recognized my efforts in the competition and awarded me a four-year scholarship for my undergraduate studies. Now, I'm in my third year at FIU pursuing my dream of being a civil engineer. I'm currently working on my structural analysis homework. The question asked me to sketch the loading that acts along joists BF and ABCDE. Sometimes as an engineering student, you have to stay late nights to get all of your homework and studying done. But in the end, it's all worth it. I was accepted into a structural engineering internship at an amazing company called Eastern Engineering Group. Internships are great because they give you hands-on experience and teach you about engineering outside of the classroom. I remember when I first visited Florida International University Engineering Center. I was one of very few women there and probably one of the youngest people there. So I felt very out of place, but I knew I was there for a reason. I knew we needed more of that. I just hope that girls feel inspired and encouraged enough to not be afraid to, to go after what they love. To all the teams participating in this year's Samsung 12 for Tomorrow competition, I wish you the best of luck. Working with your peers to develop an innovative solution to enhance your community and knowing you can make a difference in the world is amazing. There are no limits to what you can achieve when you set your mind to it, so just go for it.